Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. Have I got a show for you today? I'm telling you, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite the show. Um, Stevie B is freaking out over the Triton Industry shares. The new Triton Industry that's gonna be coming here what pretty soon. We got breaking news. What what, what we got going on here? Let's see. I'm digging this music, yo. We got some white bat audio playing. Announcing the Triton Industry shares. Home of the Sand King. That should be like right over there somewhere. Like o over yonder. But uh, what else does this place have to offer? I'm just wondering. I'm wondering for a friend. His name is Stevie B. Listen up. Mindark is doing what I want them to do. Okay? What I want is for everyone to get a piece of the action that's going on in Entropia Universe. Okay? I want people to have the ability to buy shares in specific land areas. And this is a pretty good land area to do so. Why? Yo, there is a lot of creatures down here. They've always treated me pretty good. I, I, I've come down here and popped some globals, especially running with the Diabolical Dominion. If, you, if you're looking for a society, we'll take you. We'll take anybody. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> but this place is dope. I'm, like, really excited. And, uh... New Treasure Island. Yo, I was I was really digging New Treasure Island there for 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 quite the long while. What do we got? All right, I know it's important. I know that Stevie B made a video saying, "Oh my God, you're gonna get scammed again. This is this is horrible. This is terrible. They're doing it because they're they're trying to devalue their investors or whatever he's trying to talk about. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. But." uh there were some things that he did touch on that are right. Like the fact that there's like a whole bunch of ancient Greece shares still available up for grabs. Well, if nobody's going to buy them, that's great. That's fine. I don't care. Right? I don't care if people buy these things or not. I, I just the nature of reality. It, it, it is what it is. Right? I, I, I just don't care. But uh, these things do pay out. Like... All these shares are paying out. So for him to say that any of these shares on this on this on this this exchange right now, to say that any of these things are a scam, no, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Okay? It's in the hands of the players. Right? It's in the hands of the players. I'm, I'm hovering over all these. And the players make the price. If they want to sell, they'll sell. And if they don't get it sold, they'll sell it for lower. This, that, and the other thing until they get their stuff sold. And then hopefully the price sp springs back up. Right? There has been some sales of these 10. Not many, but there's still been some. That, that That's that's not all. Alright, that's just ancient Greece. Right? You get the Calypso Land Deed Trust. Yeah, very... It, it's, it's good. Crystal Palace Base Station. Yeah, it's good. Tried, tried true, and tested. Whenever the new Treasure Island deeds came out and was announced before it came out, Stevie B did this. He was like, "All oh, new Treasure Island is a scam. Sip, sip, smack, smack, scam. But is it though? I just picked up a whole bunch of new shares myself. Okay. And I picked it up for seven fifty, like a good a hundred something shares. All right, just because the price goes down on something does not mean that's a bad thing. Especially for someone like Stevie B crying about the fact that all of them got sold out in the first freaking day. Okay? And you're, oh, they all got sold out in the first day. What a big scam. It's because nobody listened to him and everybody bought some of these things. Now, everybody has one and now the price is in complete control. 
in in the players' hands, and now people are looking to liquidate. And I, 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 I'm telling you, some people knew about Triton Industries getting released, and they, they they they've been selling off some of these shares. I'm telling you, but expect a lot of these shares to start dropping down in price. I'm telling you, they're going to start dropping down in price because Triton, Triton, Triton Industries, they're going to sell and then they're going to buy Triton Industries. They're going to sell all the other shares and buy Triton Industries. I'm telling you, cross my heart because I'm thinking about doing the same thing. It's all about diversity. I want more shares on the exchange, more than just Ancient Greece, more than just Calypso or Landy Trust, more than just Crystal Palace Space Station, and more than just New Treasure Island. And we are getting that opportunity right now. Okay, these are opportunities. These are not scams. These are good. Even though that the price of New Treasure Island has been going down, guess what? It's called dollar cost averaging. You can buy more and then you are fine. Or don't. There's a lot of people that don't even buy shares. But uh, whatever. It is, it is what it is. Some people just can't afford minimal investments. It's the truth. I mean... I used to be in that boat too, but if I wasn't, if I was in that boat now, I'd still be buying shares here and there. Just saying, but just because the price is going down, doesn't mean anything. Let me check the comments really quick. We've got salt farmer, do 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 griefer news. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. But no, it, we're, we're going to have a new share system. This is fantastic because it, it's, it's here. Let's open this up. So we got... Triton Industries right above New Treasure Island. You know, I'm willing to bet that in the future, one of the next shares that are going to be implement in, implemented is going to be Fort Victoria and uh, Odysseus Landing. Who wants to bet? Who wants to bet that this whole little square of island right here is going to be one of the next shares available? I, I'm, I'm willing to bet. But, I mean, it's going to take a while. They're probably not even thinking about working on it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be something soon. These these two islands right here are not tried, true, and tested yet as a land area. But they are creating them to be land areas. Therefore, we get to go there and hunt on shareholder-owned land areas. And I'm not even going to lie to you, this is this actually has a quest on it to go kill the, the main creatures down here in order to unlock something dealing with vaccine vaccinations or something I, I haven't completed the quest yet which is a good thing for you if you buy shares because then I'm gonna finally come down here and I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt this place until I get that quest complete and then there you go but there's other people that haven't even done any of the quest but you know, I guess nobody's going to ever come here to do the quest, right? Yeah, get out of here with that. This is an opportunity. It, it really is. Uh, they're, they're calling it Triton Industries. You know? This, this whole little area right here. But some things that they did not mention is the fact... Uh, what they not mention? How the shares are going to generate income? If I was a betting man, I would bet... That they are going to maybe, maybe just maybe base it off of decay like they did New Treasure Island. Because taxes in Loot 2.0, not the best way to do this anymore. Taxes in 1.0, you know, whenever you had no looters all the time, you know, you could probably do a little bit of tax on that because things were a lot more volatile. The taxes now, no. You, you, you tax it based off the, de the decay. I'm willing to bet that that's how they're gonna how they're gonna play it, but I don't know. They might have some other weird system. Who knows? I don't know. They didn't tell us, but I I, I might bet it's, it's decay. But whatever. We're we're over here right now. Um. Everybody, 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 good. We good and checking checking the chat. We got Captain Sola Starmongers at L O L Quorum Coast. Good morning. Hey, hey. <laughs> how's it going, guys? 
Nah, uh, absolutely for realsies. Let me do this multi-stream really quick. All right. This is going to be good. Uh, let's go ahead and go down here. And I want to just go ahead and mention the, the sheer simple fact that Stevie B did pull the same stuff whenever New Treasure Island opened up. And he was completely wrong. Completely wrong. Well, well, what they need is a function that does the following. Take land area size, X number of players, share payoff result, and set the timer for frequent payoff. What, whatever they do. I, I don't I don't really care what the what they do as long as they pay out. It's just it's gonna be nice if it just pays out. Now we're gonna head down here. You couldn't resist having a little bit of salt with your morning coffee. Oh, we haven't even gotten salty yet because uh, we're we're going to uh, we're gonna play Stevie B's recent video. Maybe I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. What do we got here? I'm going to consume a loot pill because I can, and now we're gonna consume a. a, a, a a 10 hour skill pill. What is this guy? Wait, wait, what is this? Who is this? Who, who's, who's here hunting? Is there somebody here hunting? I thought that there was no one here. There, there, this is a dead land area. Guys, this is a dead land area. Look at this guy hunting. It's Martin the Hope. He's hunting. It's a, he's hunting in a dead land area. Who, 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 who would have thunk? Oh, I, I guess you can have that. I'll just keep moving along, Martin. <laughs> Make me waste some shots. Let's go. But uh, sh should, I, should I even play that? Sh should I even play that? Just right here. We got something good. No need to tie them to a tax. It could be set up. In co yeah, it's it's good. You're going to get paid out regardless. I just, I just know you will. And I I go to New Treasure Island on the regular, okay, and it pays out pretty pretty regular, and so does Ancient Greece for that matter. Like it pays out. I tell you what doesn't pay out very often, the Arcadia Moon. <laughs> but I tell you what doesn't ever pay out, Compet. Does anybody know anything about Compet deeds? Yeah. Yeah, don't don't ever buy one of those unless you're just like gonna sit one of them, sit one of them up in your apartment or something just for the for, for the looks. It's all they're good for. It's decoration. The Quorum Co said I tried to do a share stake with Quorum, but I had to do it manually, and there was a pain to track everyone down at the end of the month. Yeah, it, 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 that's don't add too much work for yourself, you know. But uh, Rexatillum Weeks, uh, we're killing Rexatillums right now. These things are not that bad. They're very tanky. They got some HP. They actually do have a really good uh, loot drops. They, they, they actually pop. They pop globals, I'm telling you. I don't know if we're going to get one, but it would be nice if we did. But Stevie B goes on and on and on about the fact that things that they're trying to do to make the game better... Which is something that I really want and I've advocated since I played back in the day. Is the fact that you should put a share system in the game so everyone can like buy into this stuff. This is like, look at like, look I was kind of like crazy back then but uh, you know, yeah. That was like, yeah, 4850 right there. It, it, it's, this land area is such a scam guys. These Rexatillums, they're not paying out at all. I just got 4850 right there. But all I'm saying is uh, this is going to turn. Oh, wow. I just went up to 240 hit points. See, oh, look at me. <laughs> I'm ever so closer to being Uber now. <laughs> Listen. If you listen to everything that Stevie B has to say, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Because let me tell you, if uh, if these people go crazy, the other shareholders, future shareholders, go crazy and buy the stuff out like they did. Um, because let me let me let, let me give you a little secret, okay? Ancient Greece isn't Calypso. 
Arcadia isn't Calypso. Triton Industries is Calypso. Okay. Calypso Land Deed. Well, naturally, that's Calypso. Uh, Crystal Palace Space Station, not quite Calypso, but it's Calypso. It's like right there. Right? So, all these really good shares that are out there, mostly around Calypso. Okay. <laughs> now, that being said, Arcadia Moon does pay out. And it's not that great, but it does. Kill a Swords, get 7k loot. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I got a knife. You think a knife would do it? I'll just knife this thing in the face. Let's go. That Norwegian gamer says had, had it like had it like this since yesterday. Login page won't load. Oh no. Norwegian gamer says hello CVB. I can't log into my account on the Entropia webpage. Is there something other have experience as well? Oh god, I am not CVB, bro. <laughs> what? How dare you? I'm not Stevie B. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Stevie B just, like, went crazy. It, it, all talking about, if this was in America, this would be illegal. This is a fucking video game, bro. It's a video game. This isn't, like, real life. Okay? Like... <laughs> Why do you keep trying to make this into real life? It's a video game. It's a video game that happens to be real cash economy. It, it is real cash. But it is still yet a video game. And if they want to turn Triton Island into Triton Industries and have a share system, that's what they're going to do. And we don't know how well it's going to, to operate. Okay, we don't. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. Clearly, it's not a risk that Stevie B's willing to take, but he's willing to take you down with him. And his campaign to advocate for insanity by t telling Mind Dark, this is a bad idea! Stop! Don't do this! I am the opposite. I say, this is a great idea. Let's do this. I'm ready. But yeah, is it a cash grab? I don't know. But it's still an opportunity to get yourself some more shares to diversify just a little bit more in case something doesn't pay out. Then you have something else that might. It's the nature of the beast. Is there things that Mindark should be doing? Yes. Should they be trying to maybe, I don't know, make other places better? Like the Arcadia Moon and Ancient Greece, make them a little bit better so they can sell their shares or increase the amount of payouts for the Arcadia Moon by having content there? Yeah, that's, I mean, that, you bring up a good point there, Stevie B. But you know what? They're making another share system based on Calypso. And Calypso makes money. All right. Calypso makes money, and I'm all for it. Because let me tell you, people will come here because they have to for a quest that they have to do. And there's more than just Rexatillums here. I know that there's some Essophils or Alophils here. It's, there's something here. And the Sand King. Okay? So there's going to be things popping off in this place. It's going to be great. I, I think it's going to be great. I might actually stay here and hang out and, like, actually start farming this place if I get up enough shares. Or, or just, anyways. I don't know. So Captain Soul Starbuck says, I shall have shares of this. Oh, yes, I shall. Hell, yes, you shall. And, and Captain Soul Starbuck, you should come back into EVE Online and, and, and hang out with us sometimes. Listen, I, I there's no secret that I have been playing EVE Online. We got Diabolical Dominion up and running as a corporation so if you need a little break from entropia save up some money and come play some eve with us that's just a random little thing right there but just know i'm still in this game i'm still in this game to win this game 
Is is there any way to know that if you're winning or not? I don't know. Um, I play the game for fun. I put money in the game. I play it for fun. Win or lose, I don't care. It's just that's the way I am. I I enjoy playing this game. I don't mind putting money in. But whenever I do put money in, I end up putting a lot of money into shares so I can survive a little bit longer in the future. Okay, that's my play style is I like to take some of my winnings, put them in the shares. That way my shares actually give me back a little bit of money. And I haven't really felt like selling any of them right yet, but uh, the opportunity is there if I wanted to. All right, who we got here? Uh, oh no, is there another? Is there another person here hunting? Oh my god, this place is so dead. What is? It, what even is this? Like seriously, what? What even is this? I thought this place was like dead. There's already people hunting here before before they patch in the actual Triton Industries. Oh come on, man, this is insanity, absolute insanity. But as far as this being like some sort of cash grab, guess what? You don't have to buy shares if you don't want to. Leave it to people that will, like me. I'm buying some. Oh, you feel sorry, CVB, that I'm buying some shares? Well, I'm really happy every single week when I do the Deeds and Shares Payout Show. Weekly for Entropia Universe, okay? Every single week for the past I don't know how long. Actually... I've done the Deeds and Shares show every single week since, except for that one month I took off, every single week since TVB bashed on New Treasure Island. That's how long the show has been going on for. And that's why the show actually goes on, is because TVB bashed New Treasure Island. So I just, I give the report every week of shares and their payouts. I'm just saying. Oh, there's news on the eight coins, gold and silver. I, I did not know about that. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Oh, my God. H have I just gotten stronger? I'm, like, running through these guys with Ghost. This is great. Hell yeah. Oh, well, these are the weak ones. Listen. <sighs> I guess. I, I guess. All right, stand by. Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me today. Let's take some big sips to get this one started off right. <laughs> so today we have some breaking news that we need to talk about. This video is going to be longer than my usual videos. However, that's why the speeds up. The things we're going to be talking about are extremely important. I want to keep you guys safe. I want to keep you guys from losing money, and I also want to get the community to kind of start thinking along the lines of what we need to do to try and protect this game as well. So I will try and get through it as quickly as I can, sticking to the details and the pertinent facts. Stick Please it, okay. Though, because it will be longer than my usual videos. Okay. So that being said, guys, what we need to talk about is some breaking news that happened this morning. I'm actually on Planet Siren, what we're going to be talking about. All right. So you, you, you just start talking about... You, you, uh... Ugh. All right, I'm frustrated. nothing to do with Planet Siren. Let me read you the official announcement first. And then we're going to break down all the reasons this is a horrible idea and something you should avoid putting money into. A horrible so I'm idea. The official announcement directly from oh God. Mindark. Come on, I got it on ha fast speed. Triton Industry shares. Yep. Home of the Sand King. Yep. In December 2023, Triton Industries will expand the Entropia Exchange with 500,000 Triton soon. Industry shares. The Entropia Exchange allows participants to acquire shares a couple via of virtual days. companies and receive revenue in the form of dividends from estates controlled by those companies. Triton Industries is now offering shares on Triton Island, a small island northeast of Arimathea on planet Calypso, also known, known by Entropians as the Sand King Island. You can access Triton Industries yeah, he's, Island he's, by he's, teleporting he's reading to all the stuff that is very very important. Station Triton. The oasis is located in the middle of the desert landscape populated by the creature class Rextellum. The Rex was previously them. thought to be extinct before Governor Jameson's expedition. We're trying to extinct them right now. Located on the island, this creature class is currently the largest arthropod known to science, and is speculated that its sheer size keeps it safe from other aerial predators on the island. Yeah, that's the next island scam. is frequently visited by colonists to challenge the largest Rex Tellum creatures, the Sand King. Triton Industries is the fifth company to be listed on the Entropy Exchange, and the first batch oh, of shares gosh. will be made available on Tuesday, December fifth, twenty twenty-three. 
Your shares from Triton Industries will be available in multiple batches November, over time. Or you can acquire December shares 5th. via the Entropy Exchange access by right-clicking on your ped card. Hell yeah. Stay tuned for additional information and details about these shares. Now, additional info is going said, to be posted soon. If you look at the Planet Calypso forum announcement, Mindark is getting destroyed by players saying, we cannot believe you're doing this. I am going to Which be players? Players. Let me explain something. There is no Triton Industries. There this is does no, not exist. This, this does not, not exist. This is not. But on the 5th, guess what? It's going to be a fucking thing. It's going to be a thing. Imagine that. Things can be created in a video game. Something that didn't exist is going to exist. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. We're going to need it. Because these things are pretty cool to kill. And there's already been like, I've seen two other people on this land area so far. There's actually a couple more that flew past me before the video started. Do they... I noticed that Brandon, you know, you know, our Brandon in the Diabolical Dominion, he was killing these things like a, a couple weeks ago. No one told him to do it. He was just doing it. People come here. This is a great place. But this place doesn't exist, apparently. The Triton, I, Tri Tritland Industries does not exist. It's just a big scam. We're all getting scammed here. It doesn't exist. It, it, it's, it, it's value is nothing, but they're probably going to put a, a value on it. And we're going to buy it, and that's going to be the value. Then it's going to pay dividends. And then we're going to have to figure out what the price is after that. It's going to be a big scam. Everyone's going to get scammed. It's going to be a fantastic. Is it... <laughs> All right, listen. Not a player-owned land area. In fact, this doesn't seem to be a land area at all. Then what the I fuck is it? To Naval Station Triton teleporter multiple times. I have been to Jameson's Reach multiple times. I have been to the Sand King multiple times. Okay. My it, also it is not a land area. It is a land area. Posted. I said, hey, it's not owned owner, land area. How in the world are these shares going to create revenue? This is a non-taxed area. But it's it will be. Where events are held. It's not. Oh my god. Area where is this guy a fucking retard? Get some kind of a tax whenever you go and you. Hunt it mine. will become it's just something. A part of the game. That it hasn't like literally been. Where else? It will be something. So that it wasn't. I don't understand. First off, how they expect it's going to become to something. Kind of because again, this is a non-taxed area. It will Number be taxed two, somehow. There is no Triton Industries. This there will be a business. If this was a player-owned land area, it's a share. Generated some kind of tax from hunting. It's mining, a freaking share, bro. It it's Triton not an actual industry. There's it's no a, it's just the name of a share. The naval station Triton teleporter. It's the name of a share, bro. Teleporter, and the area immediately surrounding the two. And I don't understand how they expect these shares to generate any kind of revenue at all. They're gonna make it do that. They have so, experience. This is Listen, they have experience in doing just that. Let, 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 me, let me provide you some examples. We got Ancient Greece, Calypso Land Deeds, Crystal Palace, New Treasure Island. There's even more. Th these are all my examples. Arcadia Underground and the Arcadia Moon. Okay, there, there are examples of how they're, they're going to turn this into something that it, 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 it will become. It, uh, it, it will pay you. It, does this guy just sit there and be like, well, it's not happening now, but that means they'll never, ever happen. Because it's not, it's, I've never seen this before. So it doesn't exist. Bro, they're, they're, they're making it exist. Homie, they are making it exist. All right, anyways. We, 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 got, we, got, we got got a couple comments and you're like I do agree with that CBB is very negative to news. Yes, he is. <laughs> the core of coast says we'll laugh my ass off when we find out CBB buys a bunch of shares on launch. <laughs> he tried to on on, on on New Treasure Island and then he got really butt hurt. <laughs> Because it all sold out in like two hours. <laughs> Even though he like ranted and raving rated for like two videos of how it was a scam. <laughs> and people bought all of it. 
And then that's, that's that's the magical part about it. Like, then it all became player owned. And he, he oh jeez, Captain Solar Starmarker says he's okay when it comes to learning some things, but he does he does get bent out of shape over silly shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ, DVB, come on, dude. It's bad. This is really bad because there are going to be players. No matter how much me and other players scream from the hilltop, even though I'm going to put this video out, oh even though God. most of you can see why this is a horrible idea, there will be people that will spend money on these shares. And they will lose money. These oh shares God. are worth zero. Nothing. Nada. So any amount of money put into these oh, Jesus might Christ. as well just be considered lost. Might as well just be considered gone. What if you're wrong, it retard? It's absolutely abhorrent that they're calling it Triton Industries. There is no such thing. What if you are actually no wrong and no you're using area. your platform to no basically tell path. everybody, there don't, don't do it, don't do it, and they miss out on an opportunity, and this fucking, Triton. this place actually ends up like going so double or something like that? You're going to get blamed, dude. Unsuspecting players if this becomes like 20 pen per share, people are going to hate your guts. But more importantly, like serious, Stevie B. Really? makes the game and mind arc look bad i mean really really bad and that's not good for any of us who love this game <sighs> so really take a... it doesn't I, I don't think mind arc looks bad doing this and i'll tell you why because this is what i want out of entropy universe i want a vibrant share system that i can buy and invest in and get weekly or daily payouts that's what i want that, that, that's what I want. So if I don't want to play for like a month or two, I can come back to the game and I can have enough to play with if I so choose. Without even making a deposit. Because I've already made my deposit. When I bought the shares. And don't you, don't, don't you give me... Too, too. What if Stevie B is completely wrong and this, this Triton Industries goes double? Take it from 10 to 20. What if that happens? And I know it's probably not going to happen, but uh, what if it goes to 15? What if it rivals uh, Crystal Palace? You don't know. He doesn't know. It is a risk that you have to take. Is this place going to be better than New Treasure Island? I don't know. Is it going to be better than Calypso Landings? Hell no. It's not going to be better than uh, 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 Calypso Landings. Uh, I, 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 I will say that 100%. But uh, how about this? What in the hell is going on with all the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, Unreal Engine tokens for the new shares that will come out in t t uh, 2025? Like I'm, I'm, I'm like seriously asking this question. Because right now those things are still going for about 10 ped each okay around about give or take okay which is fine but people are buying those and i believe that some of them are actually taking the liquidity out of some of the shares just to be able to keep that market floating but i i, I speculate there okay but people are all into these shares bro they're all into these shares and there's a reason that they are they're actually pretty fun. It's, I find it fa fascinating that the prices are actually dropping on New Treasure Island. I don't think it's a bad thing because I am a buyer. I will buy when it's low. And then eventually my dollar cost averaging is going to, 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 to basically even out from whenever I bought it at 10. I still got a ways to go. But I know for a fact I bought 3000 at the get-go. I have 4000 now. Actually... How many do I have? 4,800. So the more I buy at a lower price, that basically drags that price down that I bought it for every single time. And I'm happy about that. And then I get paid every single week. Almost. I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to lie. But I get paid. And uh, when they put more things on this, it makes me excited. It gives me a little bit of extra hope for the game. Because... Now more money is circulating it back into the players' pockets based off of investing. I'm just saying. All right, so we got some more. So we got some more comments. We got uh, Joanna Smith says, "Well, I was waiting for the Lore Spade update to this. I know you have been, and I'm here for you." Um, Core Coast, he says, "Man, I love your laugh, Lore Spade. Shame you don't do radio." <laughs> 
they would never hire me. And he says, yes, Entropia is actually a great investment when done right. It is really hard to find a decent passive income that we can access so easily. Yes, absolutely right. And a tax man ain't coming to you every single time you get paid a dividend by Mindark. Okay, I'm pretty sure you'll only really get taxed when you pull money out of the game. That's just uh, what I'm saying. I don't know for sure. We'll find out in the future if, whenever I actually pull out a lot of money. But uh, we've got Captain Soul of Star Monger saying, Lol, it doesn't need to exist. Lol, because Mindark equals the source code. Yeah. They're making it up, which is fantastic in my book because everything is made up. When it comes down to video games, you have to make up the concepts. You have to make up the things. You have to actually do real code, which is kind of sciencey and shit. But, uh, you know, aside from that, like, whenever they make something new, like, there it is. It becomes canon. But uh, being bent out of shape over a fucking thing that didn't exist like a day ago and now is going to be a thing in a couple of days from now, when I have money. Because, <laughs> uh... Let me let me get my dentist stuff out of the way, which, yeah, I, I got two dentist appointments. It's gonna cost me like a thousand bucks. This is not the best time, mind art, to be coming out with shares. But you know what? I'm glad you're doing it. I really am, because I know for a fact that I'm just gonna have that opportunity to buy. And you know what? If people do listen to Stevie B and they don't buy the shares, guess who's going to over a period of time? If they don't sell out because there's a lot of very hungry people out there, it's going to be me. It's going to be every week until I get a good, nice, vast majority or a small ma minority of shares. But it's going to look really nice because, like, it's it, I, I, I'm aiming for, like, evening it, evening it out between all the shares that I actually already own, which I am absolutely happy about. All the shares that I have, I want more. Now I'm going to be able to get more of a different type that didn't even exist before. I'm stoked. Stevie B, freaking out. Sky is falling. Don't buy these shares. It's a bad idea. It's a scam. Which, uh, no, it, it's, it's not. Even if the price goes down, it's not a scam. That's how the market works. But uh, let, 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 let's take a look again Bet between some of the things that you were saying. Like, this this has gone down a little bit. Okay, well, that's in the natural, like, very, very healthy range. And besides, there is not that many shares right there before you have to start buying buying them at the tens. And somebody's going to buy them at the tens. But uh, people want to keep selling them. You can't stop people from selling what they what they own. So, if, if, if there's going to come a time when people aren't going to sell these ancient Greece shares. And then people are going to have to buy the tens. They have been, they have been buying the tens slowly over time, but not that heavily. But uh, it, is, it is what it is. But the, we got New Treasure Island, the biggest scam going on right now. It went from 10 to 795. Okay, listen, it went from 10, and but it still pays out regularly. So every single time it pays out regularly, it can go down a peck and still not have costed you a lot right every single time it pays out just knock a peck off that price be like all right 9.99 great another payout 9.98 great and keep going down so every single time every single pay every time you hold on to it, every single payout that you you get you, you can legit lower the price on it and still break even but the, 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 either neither here or there all right, we got more. We got more comments. It says, uh, "Soft Farmer says, I wonder if CVB was a gold hoarder at the start of the game." <laughs> Captain Soul Star Mark says, "Does he honestly not understand what source code is and the fact that it's their code?" I don't know. They can do that with literally one line of code. Yeah. Uh, Corp Coast says, "Yeah, they probably have it all ready to implement before they announce. Just drop the update now." Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I am totally ready for this. Like, understand, I am totally ready for this. We got uh, the core code. Oh, you already said that. Uh, Colin Slave says the stocks haven't been out for a year like New Treasure Island, 
but it also pays out almost as well as Calypso Land Deed Trust when it pays out. Yeah. I mean, these shares do pay out. Everything off of the exchange does pay out. Ancient Greece has its moments where, you know, blah, but it's Ancient Greece. It's not even on Calypso. Most of all the other stuff, what you got, what you get. Calypso, they, well, that's on Calypso. Crystal Palace and New Treasure, they're all on Calypso. That's why they pay out so well. And now we're getting Triton Industries, which is also on Calypso. Dude, it, 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 you're not going to lose with this. The only way you're going to lose with this is if everyone buys them, it sells out like it did last time, and then people are just going, like, when they need their money, and they have a lot of these shares, they're going to, there you go, I want to sell it for $9.99. Then the next person will, I want to sell it for nine ninety eight. The next person will, I want to sell it for nine fifty. And then the price is going to go down. And that's, that's absolutely fine. You need some volatility. So if you want to make the right play, buy a little bit here. Wait, see if the price goes down. Buy a little bit more. And if the price goes down a little bit more. Buy a little bit more. If the price stays stable for a while. Just buy it as you go. You know, that might be the right play. Uh, or, or you could just do it like I'm going to do it. And I'm going to buy a bunch. And then the price is going to go down. I'm going to buy a bunch. Dollar cost average it all the way down to where it's like it doesn't really even matter. I'm good. Okay. You do whatever you want to do. But uh, don't be like uh, Stevie B. Be like, I'm so upset about this. I want all of you to, to, to listen to what I have to say. This is bad. Don't buy any of them. Don't buy them. If you want to buy some, buy some. Buy some according to how how you feel about it. You know, you, you don't have to go crazy. Maybe you might have to go crazy. I don't know. You definitely stand in line when it first comes out and buy a couple. Okay? And let's feel it out. I'm pretty sure some people are going to go crazy on this. It's on Calypso. Anything on Calypso is going to pay. And look, I, I swear to God, I just saw somebody shooting over here. There's somebody nearby. I, I just know it. Alright, let's see. We got, uh, how dare Mindark most likely add more stuff to an area like they did to New Treasure Island. Yeah, how dare them? <laughs> Alright, jo jo Jonathan says... So do you think the area itself will become taxed? I don't... Listen. I don't know how they're going to tax the land. But if they were smart, they would do exactly what they did with New Treasure Island. The New Treasure Island tax system is based off of income from decay. Which is great for Loot 2.0. Okay, if you base it off decay. Like, because we're going to decay regardless. You take 50% of that decay and feed it back to the shareholders, you're solid. And then they're probably going to take the other 50%, which is absolutely fine. That's what they do. Um, but uh, th I'm thinking that that's how they're going to do it. But if they're going to just, like, a like actually tax it, tax it, th I mean, they're going to have to. Either, either tax it, tax it, or base it off of decay. Either way, like, I, I would prefer the decay route because then your loot doesn't get affected. Okay? But that, that's, just, that's, that's, that's my opinion. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how they want to advance this. I don't know the information. They haven't put it out yet. It's nowhere on that, that little thing that they had. All, all the information that they basically said is this is going to be a thing. And we want Stevie B to be very upset about it. That's what they said in fine print. Look at the bottom. It says, and Stevie B's going to be mad. <laughs> and Lure Spade's going to be really, really happy. And I'm really, really happy. But I also, I, I don't know. All right. Uh, it says, uh, Corp Coast says, it's time to hop in the shower, get ready to work for work. Hey, you have a good one. Have fun at work. Uh, Jonathan says, I'm calling it now that he will have his own, he, he will own some and then make an update video to, to buy them later. He, he might actually try to get his audience to buy some so he can buy them off of them for a cheaper price or something weird like that. Like he tried, tried to do with the twin tokens, but uh, that's either here or there. I don't know. 
I, I don't know anything about that. I, I, I'm only speculating. That's allowed. Um, let's see. We got Colin. He says, and the main problem with ancient Greece is it's one of the only shares that aren't on Calypso. Not many people go to Next Island, let alone ancient Greece. Bingo. But there are people that go. And I'm willing to bet that uh, the Gorgon event is one of the biggest contributors to the share system of Ancient Greece. And uh, it is really cool that people go down there. And I appreciate them going down there to get their loot. But that, that that's cool too. We are, yes. Chill Dog. Yeah, I love your name. says... Those 2,800 notifications making you cringe? Cringe, baby. I don't care. I, I love having all of this right here just for you. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, I can't go down too many. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't care, bro. I deleted all of them once, and I was like, nah, I'm never doing it ever again. So I, I, I want it to be, like, more than 999. I, I, just, I, just, I, I, I want all of the notifications. But you can cringe all you want, bro. <laughs> that's that's what i'm good for here we do we, we, we do we do cringy things here and i enjoy it all right let's see i'm gonna go over here all right listen a few minutes and i want to talk about some of the reasons why this is so bad from mind dark's perspective why this is such a horrible thing and i cannot believe they are they're doing this and I, I don't just mean that there's going to be people that are going to buy these shares and their money's going straight down the drain. I mean things that are not immediately obvious to most people. So here's the thing. First of all, I can tell you right away, without hesitation, it is blatantly obvious to me that since Mindark is now a publicly traded company, they are doing this in an effort to try and cook the books and make it look like they are more profitable than they are. If they can dump a half a million of these shares for 10 pet each, which would be $1 each, then that would mean an extra <laughs> half a million dollars worth of income or revenue, depending on how they put it on their balance sheet, how they deal with the books. And it would make them look much, much, much more profitable. And to unwitting investors out there who have purchased my dark stock on the legitimate real world exchange, if they don't really understand the intricacies of the company, oh my they God. might think, wow, there's, there's really a hot market for virtual real estate in this game. Oh my God. That's bad. You see where this is going. Oh my God. Number two, from the outside looking in, let's say that you're somebody who, maybe you played Stop. a different MMORPG. Stop. Stop. I just can't. Oh my god. Listen. Even if that was the case. Okay. If that was the case. That's how business is done, bud. That is how business is done. Hey, we just sold a bunch of shares here. And we just raised like a half a million dollars. We good, baby. And then investors invest and projects get done. Projects get paid for. Game gets better. I'm just saying, that's how business is done. They raise money, projects to get done. Period. We need projects to get done in this game. So they're selling us shares that didn't exist, that now exist. And we get to see how many people want to come here and grind. Okay. Software says Stevie B plays in Trophy on Nintendo 64. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> My God. All right, listen. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. And maybe you've heard about Entropia a couple times and you've looked into it a little bit and you've considered playing Entropia and you see this and you get into the game and you start getting knowledgeable and you find out that while there has been one successful company listed on the Entropia Exchange, being Crystal they're Power, not companies, man. They're just shares, bro. Grab, failure. They're you shares named grab, something. Failure. What's the cash Arcadia grab Moon failure? Beach, cash grab failure. Not really. Ancient Greece shares. Crash gra cash grab failure failure not really and now you're seeing this with people going no this this isn't a, even a company this this is nothing it's not a company it's not a land area we're not even sure what a cash grab failure is compet you're going to mention compet and i'm going to agree that, that 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 was just a failure people fail 
businesses fail sometimes in some aspects, sometimes completely. Okay, things do happen. But uh, Ancient Greece didn't really fail, fail. It still pays out. It does what it's intended to do, which is to pay out dividends. And it does. It pays out dividends. Not everybody gets all those dividends because not everybody has a share. There are a lot of shares outstanding that does not make it a failure. It still does what it's intended to do, which is to pay out dividends on an almost weekly basis. Arcadia Moon actually pays out at least at least once a week. At least once a week. Sometimes it doesn't. But at least once a week. You can compare the Arcadia Moon to like a share. It, there's at least one. At least one. That's why I bought a bunch of them for its lowered price. Okay? That way whenever it does pay out, I get a decent amount. It's not much. But sometimes it pays out triple. And then I'm really happy. Sometimes it pays out double. I'm like, alright, let's go. But to me, if it pays out at least once a week, I'm like, alright, let's go. That, that's just me. But it does what it's intended to do. And that's to pay out. It doesn't, it, just because it doesn't pay out, and it, the, like, to make you rich all of a sudden, doesn't make it a failure. Does it need to be worked on? Yes. But it's not a failure. Failure would be like absolutely nothing at all or something's broken about it. That's a failure. So I don't know. You, you take take that with the grains of salt or, or, or whatever you want to do. But you're selling here because there's no way for it to even generate revenue. If you were somebody who recently started playing the game, would you trust this company to hold your money so that you can participate in this economy when they're selling shares in something that isn't a land area, isn't a company that has no path to revenue? Where everybody's going, we don't even know where these dividends are supposed to come from because this is a non-taxed area. How is this even supposed to work? Yes. Would you trust that company to make yes. your first deposit? Yes. Or your second deposit? Would you trust them to hold any of your money? Yes. 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 And I'll tell now, you why. I'll tell you why. Because they have, like, on their, their balance sheets that are very, very public that we can all see on their business side of things, they actually hold all this money in liability for us to be able to either cash out with it or burn it to the ground and give it all to mind arc they hold that money whenever you have money on your ped card they're holding that they're they're right now if i wanted to well i'd need like at least a thousand ped i only got like 871 all right wait until wait wait until i get paid out this next week okay and i have a thousand probably 100 percent. i have a thousand and I can take that out and put it into my bank account. And Mindark is holding on to all of that right there. So they have, they're holding on to all these liabilities. Their liabilities is actually our money that we could take out at any given time. This is how it works. Do I trust Mindark? Like with my firstborn child? I don't know. But if they wanted to hang out with the Mindark support people like a trip to Sweden I guess whatever uh, I but I don't know it is what it is but dude come on you Stevie B is, is rocking some really good gear and sh stuff like that and that he had to buy so I guess he 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 trusts mind dark with the sale of like some pretty expensive equipment that, that he bought off somebody else, he trusts to put a lot of money into the game, but he doesn't trust the share system. Make this make sense. Go even a step further. Yeah, I let's have go. considered Mindart to be towing the line. Towing the line. And flirting with something it doesn't really want to flirt with for flirt some time over this whole Entropia exchange thing, what over is, this whole listing of shares in this virtual that? economy. They've been really flirting with something they don't want to flirt with here. What? Now, what? they're throwing the line out the window. They're, they're jumping so far over the line, it's ridiculous. Okay, what's this, this line? This runs afoul of every securities exchange law on the books in the United States. This is a fucking video game! This runs afoul of every securities law it's a video in game. the United States. Point what are you even talking period. about? Hands down. This is the exact type of thing it's that video the Securities game. Exchange Commission is responsible for regulating. Responsible for making sure that this does not happen. And Mindark is so clearly oh my God. just running smooth over that line 
and acting like it doesn't exist. What? That it is scary. This is what people end up getting arrested for. This is where criminal charges start to come in. It in is a video these types of scenarios. game of because a real this is not. Economy. There's a business, and shares were offered, and maybe the right regulations weren't followed, and and you know this people invested money. Maybe they didn't even lose anything, but you know we just it's didn't follow really the rules weird. quite right. This is quite blatantly. I have snake oil, and I want to sell you a share in my new snake oil company. It Why makes no is revenue. this dude even it playing no this game, yo? It actually didn't exist until two <laughs> seconds ago when I decided I have a snake oil company. But I want to sell you shares for a half a million dollars. What the hell? This is exactly. The kind of thing that the Securities Exchange Commission is... Shares are one of the, the, by far, the easiest things to actually make money in this game. Granted, it takes money to make money when in dealing is with shares. But it's one of the surefire ways to actually make a little bit of go juice. Actually, if you combine shares with the fact of trading, oh my god, sky is the freaking limit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It is the limit because uh, so many reasons, so many reasons I could go into how that is, but okay, I'll, I'll go into it just, just so, just so there's like no weirdness between us. All right. So you get paid off your shares and then say you didn't do so well on a trade. Well, your shares are going to cover for that. So then you, you're, you're still kind of a breaking even, but then you make money on a trade and then you get paid the next week. And then you got even more money on top of that. And then you got more money to trade with. Wait the next week, you got even more money to trade with. And you, you're always constantly making trades during that time. Your money goes up. And then a week comes by, payouts come through, your money goes up. Make some more trades, etc., etc. It keeps going up. For people that like to play the game, your, your pet card's not going to go up like that. Okay. Unless you're like trading all the time, not actually pew pewing, not actually dropping probes, and uh, crafting, you're not even crafting, you're just trading. Then you're going to be making a lot of money, and the shares are going to help you do that even further. And it, it might even help you out of a bad spot every once in a while. Who knows? But that, that that's what I'm getting at. What the uh, what's this supposed to protect consumers from? Not only the consu the Security Exchange Commission here in the United States, but Every Why am I shilling so hard? Agency in every jurisdiction worldwide that has a functioning first world financial system. There are consumer laws on the books. There are security laws on the books to protect from this. Okay, well, that... Now, in a third world country where you don't have running water... This isn't Sweden. Maybe not, but in any first world country... This is, this Sweden, is based off of Swedish, Ireland, Swedish law. Finland. Swedish Great law. Britain, Scotland. Spain, Swedish law. France. Germany. Nothing else matters. Russia, Swedish law. Anywhere That's that it. Swedish law. Economy, a first world financial system. Just Swedish there law. Are rules and regulations and laws on and the books. It doesn't matter. In a Only Swedish law matters in entropia. In regulation capacity to protect from exactly this. That is absolutely horrifying to me as somebody who loves this game. Because I could easily see somebody ending up in jail or prison oh my from gosh. criminal charges from really? this. How many more people are on this land area? Now, that said, what is the difference? Let's go back to the very beginning, before there was an Entropy Exchange. Okay. Before there were Crystal Palace shares. Okay. For some time, many, many years, in-game, we have had various sorts of deeds. Okay. The most expensive and the most sought after of which, for a long time, was the Calypso land deed, which has now been turned into a share. Okay. Then we had Arcadia Underground deeds. Okay. We also had Compet deeds. Okay, now, Compet's Compet, garbage. out of the three, Compet was the one that totally flopped. Uh, Compet yeah. was supposed totally to be a mobile game. I agree. I agree and with Stevie B. it did not work. It did not take off. The deeds paid out one time ever, yep. and then the game was shut down and removed from the stores for the Google Play Store and the iPhone Store. For, that for is the absolutely store. true, CVB. So, the compact game just ceased to exist. Yep. Now, the deeds were still in-game trading hand player to player because prior to the Entropy Exchange, there was an actual deed. It was something you could carry in your carried inventory, just like I can carry my weapons or my ammo. Just like I would have a deed to an apartment. <sighs> okay. That be under my money and deed section. I could actually walk up to a player and trade these to people. So then we had the Entropy Exchange come about. Now, why did we even have the Entropy Exchange come about? Well, when Crystal Palace was very first created, it was brand new in-game content. And when that happened, Buzz bought Crystal Palace okay. in its entirety so, so for Buzz... over 300,000 US dollars. Yes, he and did. And he kept it for about a decade. For a decade, Crystal Palace... And there were no other shares, no, no share system at all prior, prior to this happening. It just Buzz bought it. Right? Palace was exceedingly profitable year after year after year. Yeah. That is because Crystal Palace, when it was built, was designed to be profitable. 
It was given unique creatures. It was given unique missions. The creatures dropped high value, high demand, high markup loot. The creatures dropped high demand, high value, high markup Uber items that were unlimited, like FAPs. Okay. There were multiple reasons to not just go to Crystal Palace, but to camp Crystal Palace endlessly. And if you did so, and if you knew what you were doing, it didn't matter that it was a tax land area. You could still make money. And many players did. And all right, before we go any further, all right, check this out. I just, I just want you guys to know, like one of one of one of Stevie B's. Uh, this is what I'm getting from. I look, I, I listened to this entire video, his entire video before getting on. I got pissed off, went to the store, got some energy drinks, and said, "That's it." I'm reacting to his his video, his long video in my long form t format, and listen. Stevie B is looking at what is working. Apparently, Crystal Palace works. There's a history behind it. Stevie B is afraid of things that he knows nothing about. And when he gets afraid of things that he knows nothing about, it becomes a scam. Beware. This is this is bad. The, don't don't participate in this. Etc. Etc. He did it with New Treasure Island, so I know this, and he's doing the same thing with Triton, where we're at right now, okay. But Calypso Land deeds, well, they have a, a proven track record. Crystal Palace has a proven track record. I'm a little bit scared of the ancient Greece. It doesn't have a proven track record. The new Triton Industries doesn't have a proven track record. No one ever goes there to hunt. I don't. I, I went there before and there's nothing there. I don't know what's even here. Dude, there's like people here. There's one person on my radar right now. Right over here. Let's see. Let's see what their name is. Are they going to be here whenever it turns into a, 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 a share? Is this this place gonna turn into a share? This is this person gonna still be here? <coughs> are you gonna be here? I might be here. I might. I, these things are actually pretty fun. Look, there's another person, right there. Like people are here. This place actually does have a proven track record. It just doesn't have a proven track record on the books. But people come here. People come here and hunt. People like killing these things. These things go up in levels too. There's higher levels of these. These things actually pop. And when they do, it's freaking glorious. Hey, thanks for that raid, by the way, Captain Soul Starmonger. And uh, welcome to all you guys who was watching him. Oh, man. Let me tell Oh, look. The special Golden Root Ginseng has just gotten a global over there on Crystal Palace Space Station. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Well, look, he, he, he's scared of things that don't have a proven track record. He's trying to scare people out of a good investment. Possibly. All investments come with risk. Okay? All investments do come with risk. I'm not even, I'm not even going to, like, lie about that. Look, there is, there, is a, there is a possibility. There is a chance. A small chance. A very small chance. The Stevie B might just be right. And this might be the worst investment you'll ever make. But it's a risk, right? It's a risk I'm willing to take. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take, tell you that right now. Because I'm looking for diversity in my shares. That's what I want. That makes risk a little bit more palatable for me. Is whenever I have diversity. Right here, there's only four. There's five, six in a deed system. So there's six different investments. But not, not, not taking into account, like, if I was to actually own a land area, which I was I was able to, to rock with the Corb Coast for a while and hold it for, like, two months. That was fun. But there's a diversity that I want. I want more shares. More share types. I want there to be more than just Triton Industries. I want there to be whatever whatever the hell is over here. What, what, was this uh, was this Fort Victoria or something? I want a Fort Victoria share, okay? 
That would be radical. Okay. All these people right here with own land areas, that's that's really big. Okay. That basically you you have to you have to lay down the money to buy an entire land area and then you have to run it. Guess what you don't have to do with sh deeds and shares? You don't have to run it. And that's why I like about the deeds and shares system. That's why I want more shares. And when, when somebody sits there and poo-poo's on it, whenever, look, New Treasure Island, I don't know why it's going down. I can speculate as to why it's going down in price. But I can also very much guarantee you that it's going down in price. People are going to sell, and then they're going to take that pad, and then they're going to buy Triton Industries shares with it. So they can diversify a little bit more. Because that's that's kind of what I'm going to do. Except for I'm, I'm not going to sell my shares. I'm, I'm just going just gonna to buy more. I'm going to buy buy my shares of Triton Industries. This is what I'm going to do. But uh, listen. I, I, I'm not trying to shill Entropia Universe o o over the top and just be like a yes man. Look, I, I literally buy these things. I'm very happy with where I'm at. Okay? I'm happy with where I'm at. I think it's exciting. I, I feel like I own something. A little part of something. And that, that to me, is very rewarding. I own a, a, a bunch of shares. I might just make like $20 a week. Who cares? It, it helps me out not depositing all the time. It's, let's just say if I decide not to ever deposit ever again. I could probably 100% play Entropia without ever having to make another deposit again and still play very comfortably. But I'd need to take breaks from the game if I was going to play at like the level I'm playing at now. Which, it drains me playing at the level I play at now. But usually, you know, I take, take my ammo, it turns into an item, I sell the item, get the PED, and then, what do I do with that? I put them into shares. And then whenever I want to go go and do some more stuff, I put more ammo into the game. And then rinse and repeat. That That's the way I play. I, I think that's pretty cool. You might play it completely differently, and that's, that's fine too. But I'm just saying. I don't understand why he keeps poo-pooing on the game. Especially whenever they're doing the right thing, which is making more opportunities for players to make a little bit of money. That's that's what's actually going on. And he, he Stevie B just he doesn't he doesn't do that. He, he, he's just like it's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. I don't I don't get it. I I I don't get it. But it's because he wants to poo poo all the things that are not doesn't have like any history. He does not like going into something blindly and taking risk he's very risk averse from what i can see that's just my belief i don't know i could be completely right i i just don't know i i don't, I don't actually know the guy you know i only know him from his videos just like you guys do unless you're actually hanging out with him and having conversations with him yeah, whatever i don't know i don't know whatever your thoughts are i think uh we need to we got this we got Two minutes left on the skill pill. Let's let's, let's let's go in. Buzz made money because it was a taxed land area. So Buzz eventually, ten years down the road, decided to sell Crystal Palace. His life yes. was changing. His career was changing. Things with his kids were speeding up. He wanted to enjoy all those things, right? Life changes as you go. Okay. Buzz had no intention of making it into a share. Buzz actually had a buyer who was willing to buy all of Crystal Palace. However, the problem was the price tag was a half a million dollars. And because of the sheer amount of money involved... Mindark said, before we can allow this transaction to take place, we need to review that person's financials. We need to make sure that they're not lying. <coughs> we need to make sure that they're not avoiding taxes. We need to make sure that this person is legit. Now, the person was willing to do that. Which is why they have such a, a, a long uh, withdrawal time. Just so you guys know, like, Mindark does not want to be responsible if you launder in money and stuff like that. They, they check. They literally check all this stuff. And I think that that's great. Keeping this game on board and within within the realms of the law is great. Okay, but uh, we'll continue. We'll continue. 
But the problem is when that person got ready to sell, they would face the same situation and there's no guarantee the next person would have been willing to subject themselves to that. An even bigger problem is when you have a player-owned land area, which again, Naval Station Triton and Jameson's Reach, they are not player-owned land areas. They are not. But when you... But they're going to be. They're going to be. And this place is popping. This place pops. Just, just like the Rexatility is pop. I digress. You have a player on land area. You have a deed that again can be carried in your carried inventory just like an apartment deed. But you also have something called a land area marker. And it provides a rather unique mechanism and game mechanic that only functions with land areas. Okay. So with a land area, you have to do two things. A, okay. have the deed on you in your carried inventory. Yes. And B, go interact with the land area marker. Natural. The land area marker is where you can put in the DNA to spawn creatures on your land area. It's where you can adjust your tax rates and your spawn rates. But most importantly, when you interact with that land area marker and the deed is in your inventory, this is how the game... Which, which I have, I've got to ask this right really quick. I, I know the Corb Coast isn't here right now because he had to go take a shower and go to work. Okay, but like he owns a land area. He let me borrow it for two months. And I'm willing to say that owning a land area is a very hard work, especially if you actually have to manage it. Crystal Palace, I don't think you had to manage it because there wasn't, like he said, there wasn't a land area marker. But uh, check this out. Yeah, like, like, if all this game had was like land areas and no deeds and shares, where does that leave us? Like the little man, you know? Where does that leave us? Right? We have no investment. If we can't afford a, a land area outright, several thousands of dollars, if more than that, at least 10 grand, you know? Like, who, 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 who amongst us can really afford that? I, I might if I really finagled things, but it'd take an awful long time. But we have we have deeds and shares. It's, it's four players. It, we we can afford deeds and shares, and then we can build it up over time. It this right here, these numbers right here, isn't a one-time purchase that I purchased all at once. This is like over time. Okay, like I've been playing for uh, years now. Since since it started from 2009, took my long break, came back, and now I actually have money to put into the game, and I have, I have, since the advent of ancient Greece and whatnot, like I was there, Crystal Palace Space Station, I was there, I dumped in some money, New Treasure Island, I was there the first day, when the when it came out, I bought my 3,000 shares. I don't think I'm down. I just keep holding. I just keep holding. And let's say New Treasure Island goes back up to 10. Or beyond 10. That made some money. That doubled some money. Or whatever you want to call it. I, 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 I would have made some money. If it stays where it is, whatever. I mean, I'm fine with that too. Because I'm going to dollar cost average that all the way back down to where it, 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 it's at its current price. That way I won't lose money. <laughs> 122 20 right there hell yeah that's a global oh my god just imagine if, if everybody came here and within like an hour and 15 minutes pop a 122 something global and then that's taxed and it goes into the share system i don't know i really think they should should base it off decay though him knows that you're now the owner of the land area and any income generated from the tax on that land area should go into your account. So when it comes to financing land areas, this creates an interesting opportunity. One of the very first transactions I did in game, in fact, the very first transaction I ever did in game, was there was a player who wanted to finance a land area. There were two land areas two that land had areas. a highly desirable creature on it. It was not possible to create this creature on a third land area. So if this player owned both of these okay. land areas, he had a monopoly on hunting this creature in a taxed and, land and area. That's fantastic. However, he only had one of the land areas, there was somebody else in competition with him. He already owned one of the land areas. Yeah. So what he did... But I didn't own that land area, and neither did a lot of people that owned shares. He interacted with it, yeah, and set I'm the tax saying. rate, the spawn rate, put the fertilizer in, and the game knew to put the money in his account. 
He then handed me the deed to hang on to for what safekeeping is this? What is while I financed the transaction. Is... Now, as long Even as I about. did not go interact with the Landaria marker, the money would keep going into his account every day. Yeah. However, if I had walked up to that Landaria marker and interacted with it, then the money would have started coming into my account every day. Okay. This is fairly unique as a game mechanic. You see something similar with spaceships, like motherships. What's up, White Willow? The person who has the actual deed to the private uh, here or the hi. mothership is uh, the one that has uh, access uh, to the guest list to add and remove people from the guest list that can be on the ship. However, once you're on the guest list, you don't have to have the deed on you. You can go... Yeah, but, like, what? what is this, though? He's like, oh, my God. Like, what if there was a ship, right, that, <laughs> that required you to have shares that everyone could have a share into? You know, everyone could do the game. What, what about a ship, right? That was like for everybody. Everyone could fly it. Everyone could. Everyone could gun on it. You know, would that be? Wouldn't that be cool? Look, there's a lot of things in this game that is really, really, really expensive that only a certain amount of people can actually afford and or have have the the, the privilege to be involved in. Okay, and. If they was to turn Triton Industries into like Triton land area, oh, Triton owned land area and sell it off to one person? What, what the hell, man? That would, that, would, that would be like a slap in the face to me. I'm so happy that they're making more new shares that we can invest into. Okay? We can invest into these new shares. It's great. It's a great opportunity. And it's not gonna break your break your bank you, to get like ten shares, of like a hundred PD, and then just sit on it for a minute, and then get like ten pack a week. You know, whatever. You, you're gonna get something out of it. But the more you get, the more you get paid. But the you know, the, the price will go down, especially if everybody's gonna own it, and especially if people are looking for liquidity. But what happens after that? What what happens when there's no more uh, Unreal tokens to buy? What happens when uh, there there's 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 no items that people really need to need to get right now, like like the twin tokens or the Unreal tokens, you know, all all this stuff, or like whenever whenever boxes are dropping, you know, that's whenever people like go in, they're like, hey, I'm buying this right now, uh, and they usually take liquidity out of the shares and deeds and stuff like that. In order to to keep rolling and keep making these things have value, so that's why things go down in this game sometimes. It's because people are holding on to a lot of shares and like, well, I can sell these shares, uh, but it really sucks because now it's it's only worth like eight because somebody has like a, a big huge freaking buy order for like what was this? Look at this. Look at this. so it has like ten thousand freaking sells sell orders for like eight peds worth of. They're like it's eight ped, ten thousand shares, and they're like, "Ha! I'm gonna sell these at eight. Well, like, no, the hell you're not, because there's other people in line that are willing to go even lower just to sell. Guess who's not willing to go lower to to be able to sell their shares? Me. That's why I'm not my my name is not anywhere in this little list right here. I lost where I was, so we're gonna go back to listen to Scammy B. Visit the ship whenever you want. You can even fly the ship, repair the ship, shoot the guns on the ship, but yeah. without that deed, you don't have the ability to sell the ship. It's a similar game mechanic. Now, in the case of Crystal Palace, okay. this was quite problematic. Problematic. When Mindark first created Crystal Palace and sold it to Buzz, they gave him the deed, but they never thought to put in a land area marker. This is problematic, because guys. Because they never thought he would sell it. That never occurred to them. Without the land area marker, it was impossible for Buzz to sell Crystal Palace. Even if somebody had given him the money for it, and even if he had given them the deed, he had no way to interact with the system to tell the system, hey, I'm no longer the owner. I don't want the money going into my account. Absolutely no fantastic that they that actually purchased. put it into a share form. The new owner so who I had can the deed, own a little But without bit that land area marker, he had no way to tell the game, I now own this land area. Please give me the revenue. That was quite a problem. Even if Buzz had been willing to log in every single day and transfer the revenue in person to this other person, yeah, yeah, Buzz could yeah. not do that for the rest of his life. He could not do that for the next 150 years. At some point, Buzz is going to quit playing. At some point, Buzz would pass away in real life. Wow. So without that Landry and Marker, right. well, we're all going to die someday. In the water. Whenever Mindark was informed about all this and all this kind of came out, this is when Mindark came up with the idea for the Entropia Exchange. 
The Entropy Exchange meant there was no need for a legendary marker at Crystal Palace, and it meant that my yeah. daughter didn't have to go through this review process and examine the person's finances in, in depth because they weren't getting a half a million dollars from one player. They were selling a half a million and, shares. And now, now Mindark actually players. manages it. And this is how the Entropy Exchange came to, to be. We don't and when to. Crystal Palace was listed, it was an amazing deal. Crystal Palace had made money hand over fist for a decade, every year better than the one before it. It was an established business with protected creatures that had high demand loot, high markup loot, with special... Listen to me very carefully. If this land area right here that I stand upon right here, shooting these Rexatilliums, have been tracked over time and have been an owned land area, I am pretty sure that it would have done fairly well because there's a mission on it and there's the Sand King in the middle of it. Okay, I know people, they, they have asked me, hey, you want to come do Sand King? I'm like, nah, I'm good. But the fact that uh, this little land area is... Does it have a proven track record like Calypso, uh, like uh, uh, Crystal Palace? Does it have a proven track record? It is completely a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. According to Stevie B, and I, I'm just saying no, man. It's it's just not. It's just, you're you're afraid to to to, to, to oh my god. Just, just, you, you get what I'm saying, right? Maybe unique missions. Maybe not. It was a unique business with a protected business model and proven revenue stream. This is why when Crystal Palace shares were officially launched, everybody jumped on them as fast as they could. There was no question Crystal Palace was worth investing in. However, this is where the story of the Entropy Exchange goes off the rails. Okay. What have we seen listed on the Entropy Exchange since then? All right, let's go well, into we've this. we've seen new Treasure Island shares. Treasure Island was a dead land area for the better part of a decade. <sighs> and yes, it was a player-owned taxed land area, but for the longest time, the tax rate had been taken down to zero. So people were not used to paying a tax there. And the creatures oh, that were God. there were nothing special. Even if the tax had been only 1%, there was no reason to go really hunt the creatures there because you could easily hunt these creatures elsewhere for free. No tax. And guess what? Guess what? There's no tax on New Treasure Island. <laughs> There's no tax on New Treasure Island. The income that is generated into the share system is only based off of everyone's decay. Which means that there's no actual tax. You're going to decay there regardless. You're going to decay. You're going to shoot your gun. It's going to decay. And that decay is going into the shares. There's no taxes there. Zero. None. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Nada. Zero and stuff. I don't know too many more zero words. But listen. I, I, it's a thing. And just because... It was it was abandoned by David Story. It was, is that, that was his name? I, I, I forget. It, it, he stopped playing. He stopped managing it, and then it went downhill. It doesn't mean that New Treasure Island is a horrible place, right? Because uh, it pays out. It pays out almost every single week. I I go there to hunt all those mobs that you can find anywhere. Because they're all shared loot mobs for the most part. And I find it to be a little bit more fun. I like the fact that the foul, foul, the foul are there. I love hunting those little bastards. I like going... To, I, I, I actually skilled up all the way to, to, to repeat on... Uh, what do we, we call them? Uh, you know, those things. That people sweat at Boreas. I'm drawing a blank because... I'm like brain dead. I haven't slept yet. Um, Kerberoses, yeah. I, I go to New Treasure Island to kill Kerberoses. I go there to kill Cornicatas. I go there to kill Bristlehogs. I go go there to kill Estophils and Alophils. I I I even go there to to take pop shots at the Hogalos. There's fruit furors there. You know, I've even taken on some Letemies. They even got drones there. Mining bots? Mining bots are like uh, only for New Treasure Island. You can't find those anywhere else that I know of. 
They got drones there. They got those little things that will whip, whip, whip your ass with the swords and stuff. Forget what they're called, but they suck. But I've taken them down with the diabolical dominion at my at, at take like they got my back. It was pretty fun. Look, there's just three people here hunting. Hold on, hold on. I want to show you. Look, look on that mini map right there. There's one person right over here. It's a locomotive from the Prodigy right here. They're, they're here rocking it out. There's another dude somewhere. Oh, wait, there's, there's even another dude right over there. See them? They're like right over there somewhere. There's people here. That's all that matters. There's people here. There's they're going to be here later too. And that that means that this place is already. People people are testing it out. They might like it. They might not like it. I don't know. But there are people here. That's this place is get this place is gonna this place is gonna be popping. Cause these are fun mobs to fight. And I think that there's a few other mobs that actually hang out. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's like, uh, just like flying creatures up in the mountains too. Like, it, it's insane. There's there's a lot of stuff to hunt here. There are a few things, but the Rexatillums are like one of the primaries. Not to mention the Sand King. This is gonna be a really good investment, y'all. I'm just saying, it's really gonna be a good investment. Do you, do I really want to listen to more Stevie B? Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead. The only reason New Treasure Island had any value at all, the only reason it's generated any kind of revenue at all, uh -huh. is because there are creatures that are supposed to be unique to the asteroid Foma that started being spawned on New Treasure Island after the shares were sold. And it is better okay. for people hunting those unique creatures to go hunt them at New Treasure Island than to try and hunt them on Foma. Now, the New Treasure Island... Clearly, you've never went up against the bristle hogs there. ...by any stretch of the imagination. And if you spent money on New Treasure Island shares, I'm sorry. I told you so. I told you, you told not to do so. that. I told you it was a stupid move. Crystal Palace was an established business with many protections in place and with years of profitable history. New Treasure Island was the opposite. It was essentially something brand new that maybe it would work, maybe it, would, it wouldn't, and by all appearances, it did not seem like it would. Because it went from Another 10 to 8? giant failure of the Entropy Exchange was the ancient Greece shares. It lost Ancient Greece what, two had been around prior to the shares being listed. The value? But it was only once the next island development team started uh. really doing some development and creating some content that the shares were listed. And originally there was 750... L l listen, listen very closely. If you're a new player just coming in... Oh, wow. If you're a new player just coming into Entropia Universe and you listen to Stevie B and he tells you, oh, New Treasure Island is just so stupid, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? You're new. And you can buy some new Treasure Island shares for what? Eight ped a piece? Eight ped a pop? Guess what? Uh, around, around, okay, seven ninety five. I, I want to say eight, but you know, you you can go ahead and buy these. And guess what? Your initial investment has now become seven ninety five. Seven ninety five. You're a new player just buying shares for the first time. You've just bought new Treasure Island shares for seven ninety five. What if it goes up? back to 10 you have just made a lot of money you, you have made it I, this is all i'm saying is if you have not gotten into the shares and you see the price under 10 guess what that that's the opportunity for you to get in cheaper than everyone else and then whenever a few extra new people buy up these shares the price might go back up because you're going to hold on to it for a while. You're going to get your dividends. Price might go back up. And and you you would have made it. You, 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 you stand to make a little bit of money. That being said, what is New Treasure Island going to do? Find out every Monday on the Deez and Shares Pal Show weekly for Entropia Universe. I will be there telling you what it paid out every single week. But am I really butthurt that this actually went down from 10 to lower? Hell no. And you want to know why? Because now I can buy more for cheaper. That's what I want. I want to buy more for a little bit cheaper so I can get a better dividend every single week. That's my goal is to get a good dividend every single week and then just sit on it. 
for years and years and years as it pays out every week almost. I'm not going to say it's going to pay out every week. Almost every week, though. I will say that. Because it does. Almost every single week. So don't poo-poo on somebody else's experience of actually being able to get it for cheaper than everyone else because people are trying to sell them for whatever reason. They want liquidity. They want to withdraw from the game. Anything goes. You know, they might want to buy some stuff. They might want to buy some expensive item and they don't mind selling for eight. And then somebody new is going to come and buy it for eight. And then they're going to sit on it for a while. And it might go back up. I don't know. I can't tell the future, but this is how it works. And I'm really happy that it's low. I'm not looking at my losses. You only take a loss when you sell at a lower price. That's the reality. That's the way a stock market works. You don't take a loss until you actually sell. And things go up and things go down and things go back up again. It takes a little time. And we don't know how it's going to go. All I know is New Treasure Island sold everything within a matter of like two hours or so. And now it's a completely player run. Unlike Ancient Greece, which never actually sold all of their stuff. Which is quite unfortunate for Ancient Greece because then they didn't get that extra money to... Who knows what they would have done with that money, too. They could have actually had all that money that they were going to have to put into projects to actually make Ancient Greece a little bit better. But guess what? They can't do that because of what happened. It didn't sell out. But I'm pretty sure that they they still have access to all that stuff that they're still holding on to, technically. And they could pay themselves that much, and then they save it up and then be able to, uh, you know pay their employees a little bit because I mean, let's just be real I don't, I, don't, I don't know the math here or the math involved but I'm pretty sure what, what is that uh, 215 thousand shares uh, paying out one peck every every week that, 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 might, that might be equivalent to somebody's paycheck okay and they might be typing on the computer trying to make uh, ancient Greece great again or something I don't know but uh you, you take it how you want to. I'm just saying that you can't poo-poo on a price that goes down because that is an opportunity for someone else. That is an opportunity for someone just because the price is down. I think it's an opportunity for me. It's an opportunity for you to grab a few extra shares for even cheaper than what you originally bought them for, if it be it 10, 9, or whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. After all, it is a game. And you know what? You don't have to buy shares if you don't want to. But to sit there and listen, listen, listen. All right. I listened to all of CVB's video. So I might be covering some stuff that I heard him talk about. And we're going to get into it. Thousand shares listed at $1 each. Yeah. And I said it at the time. I'm sorry, but just because you made a new wave event where we can spawn a Gorgon... Just because you made a new armor upgrade mission and a new armor plate upgrade mission, that does not magically translate into $750,000 worth of new content. And sure enough, it didn't. There were players who bought into the ancient Greece shares, and then they were promptly disappointed when the price started falling, when they never ended up selling out all of the original shares to begin with, and when the income from the shares was exceedingly low. You did not do three quarters of a million dollars worth of development. So why did you think people were going to give you three quarters of a million dollars? It was stupid from the get-go. Yep. They did end up reducing the number of ancient Greece shares available. They, they did make that mistake. Not sold out. They did issue way then too many shares. They converted for the Greece. Planet Calypso deeds into Planet Calypso shares. This did not magically make them more valuable. They were just as valuable as they had been before. But it actually, they took one. It actually did make them more valuable because more people could actually access to it, and it went from three to like what it is now, which is like three and a half or four. What is it now? It, it, it it's up there. I'll, I'll give it that. It went from three, which is thirty ped per share, thirty ped per share, because it was divided out by a hundred. It went from thirty ped a share to thirty seven nineteen. Because it was split into smaller. Because it went into share form, it made it more valuable. 
Planet Calypso Deed, one CLD, one uh, Calypso Land Deed, and they transferred it into 100 of the new Calypso Land Deed Trust shares. The price on the deeds prior to being made into shares was so high, it was prohibitively expensive for a lot of players. So when you converted it, one deed into 100 shares, that meant a lot more players were able to afford a share. It was a lot easier for people to afford something that was 30 or 40 ped per share than it was for people to afford a deed that was worth 100 shares that was almost 3,000 ped. The price did go up after it was turned into shares, but it yeah. was not because there was value added to it. It was because more people could afford a single share as exactly. opposed to a deed which had the value of 100 shares. This is true. So He's generally not speaking, we can say that the Entropy Exchange has been a massive failure. How? What the, so how the fuck can you say that? Possible. How the fuck can you even say that? You just fucking contradicted yourself. The, 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 what the? Oh my god! I, he, he literally just said it made the the Calypso land deeds go up in price because everyone could afford it. A fucking failure, I say. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. And valuable and highly sought after. Crystal Palace. And its shares were a raging success because it was an established business with established revenue streams, with established profitability and protections that made everything about the business unique and desirable. However, every other listing on the Entropy Exchange has been a blatant cash grab. The word investment is not even fitting. Really? It is pure speculation and it is stupid speculation of the highest degree because you know up front with a basic analysis, this will not end well. Really? Take a look. Despite it being hated on by a bunch at 10, but then let's see. Let's say I bought 3,000 at 10, which is true. Most of all my big investments, 3,000 up front, bam, at 10. So I, I'll give it that. Which basically means I like, I like these icebreaker duos. Um,. I take a take a look at this now i've also been buying a lot at, at a lower price which has been what about a thousand at least uh all at uh, around about what it is right now from nine nine fifty all the way up to like nine ninety a little bit averaged in all, all sorts of all all in there and then it pays out every week and then you know we, we got that going on not that bad uh considering that uh it's paid out more than well, let, do the math. It's nine fifty-eight. We'll, we'll use that as a, as a starting base. It's, it's at least paid out like what thirty times, fifty times, maybe maybe forty times. It's paid out at least forty times. So like I, I've kind of broken even, but maybe it's paid out more than that. So so maybe I'm I'm actually up a little bit. I don't know. I I think we're we're kind of good. We're I I think I'm good. It's not that bad of an investment. I might have spent a lot, a, lot, a lot of the stuff already, but uh, whatever. It's just a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, Calypso Land Deeds. Let's see. I bought a whole bunch. Uh, mo actually, I haven't really invested too heavily in it. Like maybe 150. I may maybe bought 150 at its, at its new current prices. But uh, most of these I actually bought at um, 2,500 or so. 2,500 uh, per 100, so 25 Calypso Land Deed Trust, I bought at 25 pet, or pet per share. Okay, let's, let's, let's go with that, like 25 pet per share. Yeah, that yeah that sounds about right. So, I, I'm good there. Oh wait, uh, let's see, uh, Crystal Palace Space Station, 3,000 at 10. That's right, three thousand at ten. What's it going for now? Fourteen thirty-one. Oh wow, that's that. That's that's a good. What? Well, maybe about a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars. It's not that bad. Uh, it's not that uh, like uh, uh, like at least a thousand dollars profit probably. Not to mention that one time it paid out like uh, like thirty times in one week. <laughs> thirty pack in one week. That was a good day. Um. The only thing I'm like a little bit concerned about is New Treasure Island, but uh, it it it's been jumping up and down for a while, and like I know I, I bought three thousand at, at ten, but uh, you know, it's not to say that I haven't bought a, b a bunch at the lower prices. 
And I'll probably buy a little bit more at the lower prices, but uh, we'll see what happens with Triton in Industries. I know I'm probably going to have to buy a bunch at 10 or roundabout. I don't know. But uh, I'm still pretty happy with my investments. I'm just saying, I, if you take into account all the investments that I have, you know, uh, let, let's, let's, even, let's even go here. Let's see, I bought a bunch of Arcadia uh, Moon Deeds at, at their respective prices, which was 50 to 60 and there was only like 400 no 600 about 600 at the the top price and all the rest at the going lower price because i know i went on a buying spree once it hit like 30. now it's like 25. am i tripping out too much about that no not really i might if it stays around the 25 level i i, I, I i'm not gonna lie i still like to buy them i just don't have like infinite amounts of money to do it with that's why I haven't. There's another global right there. Let's go. But wow, just 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 wow. And the Arcadia Underground deeds. Let's see. I bought those for like what about eighty? Uh, a vast majority of these for like eighty. Then I like took some of them. Like took like half of them down and and switched things around. And but I bought a lot of a lot of the the moon deeds at like uh, like forty using some of these things while they were at like 90 i sold them at 90 so i made a little bit of a profit i don't know I, i'm doing pretty good like and if i have made some losses it doesn't really matter i make losses whenever i hunt you know i, I don't know it's kind of crazy i have not checked the comments for a while ah good there's no new comments ah, how great how amazing but uh yo it's it it is what it is like as somebody that has a lot of shares and deeds and stuff like that, I know what they're capable of. I track them every single week for everybody to have Stevie B sit there and say, it's a bad investment has me questioning a lot about uh, the validity of what Stevie B is even talking about right now. These things will go down in value. They will not have income. And if they do have any income at all, it will not be good income. The shares will not appreciate in value. You will be lucky if they even sell out at all. This was true with the ancient Greece shares. This was true with the next new Treasure Island shares. And this is now going to be true with the Triton Industry shares. How can you Triton tell Industry. the future? There is, no there is the Naval Station Triton teleporter. Are you a and there psychic? Is the Reach teleporter. Again, Do this is not you a cash have land a area. time machine? This is not a player-owned land area. How do you know what you are talking so about is true? Most you of you are don't. familiar with Zykeon Citadel. I understand not a lot of people have been to Naval Station Triton or, Z or Jameson's Reach. But most of you are familiar with Zykeon Citadel. Yeah. Most of you are familiar with yeah. Twin Peaks. Let's most turn that into a share. Icarus. This would be like listing any of those. Let's turn Camp it, Icarus into business. a share. You could replace Triton Industries with Icarus Industries. The now offering fuck all the way out of here, Icarus. bro. Okay. It's not a land area. It's not player owned. There's no tax. How is it supposed to generate any revenue? And why would anybody want to be there? Why would this have any value whatsoever? Let's try it with Twin Peaks. Now introducing Twin Peaks Industries and their 500,000 shares. Okay. How's it going to make money? It's not a tax land area. Let, let me get something off my chest. Making Icarus a land area that's taxed or anything like that to put it into shares or anything like that is absolutely freaking dumb because the mobs aren't worth a shit there. I'm sorry. You're not going to turn any kind of profit for the shareholders, in-game shareholders, at all. Why would it work here? Well, do you see the mobs here? Like, look at these mobs here. They take a little bit to hit. You grind through them. They actually have a pretty good loot table. We, we, It's gone all the way up to, what, 122 in globals? It was in the video. 122. That was my first global. And we just finished hitting a global not that long ago. That's what makes this a good land area. That's what makes this able to turn a profit. This is this right here is what's going to be able to make it turn a profit. And the fact that there's other people here, not just myself hunting these things, makes it going to be a good thing. Don't just listen to Stevie B. It's not player owned. There's no way to generate revenue or income from it just existing. 
Why would people want to go there? Let's try it with Zykeon Citadel. Now introducing on, now introducing Zykeon Industries. Again, where's the revenue? Where does the money come from? If they did do it at Zykeon Citadel, guess the only people that would be able to do that is the uberest of the ubers that can actually take down those bots. I'm not able to. A lot of other people aren't able to. The vast majority of you probably you guys, you guys are probably not able to take down. That would be a really horrible move for Mind Arc. But an an area like this, Chef's Kiss, kind of perfect. New Treasure Island, kind of perfect. I'm just saying. I mean, they're they're Mind Arc's not dumb. They probably have all these little sections of all these little places, and they actually know exactly what's being made there. And then they're like, well, we could probably cut it and uh, give, give a slice of it to the players. Which is a good good idea for Mind Dark because then it actually allows us to put money into the shares. And once those shares are actually all sold out, and it's just the player run stuff, they're probably still going to take a little cut of the action. Like they do at New Treasure Island. 50%. They take 50% and give 50% to the players. Based off of Decay. They might do the same thing here. So take that how you want, but uh, whatever this guy is talking about right now. This is not a taxed area. There is no business. Just because you put the word industries at the end of it does not make a business. What <sighs> makes a business is revenue, income. These are the things that make a business. Oh my God. Go out in your front yard. Go Call out in your front, front yard. yard. Industries. Does it make front any money? Front yard industries. Does it no. make any money? Is there any income? If you no. had stuff out there revenue? to make money, then no. yeah, it's it probably you could. You could probably make something out of your, your front yard. Putting the word industries after the name. Front yard industries. I sell oranges and apples and all this stuff. There's trees that grow in my front yard. Triton and Jameson's Reach do not have revenue. They do not have income. They are not taxed areas that make money based on they the probably are taxed. hunting or you mining don't know about it. or crafting. So I will ask again, where will this income magically appear from? They didn't tell you what yet. What makes this any kind of valuable? They have all? not announced it yet. And they just announced that the shares happening? are coming out. They did we not announce they anything else. They didn't announce it My yet. Mindark is now a publicly traded company. They need to show growth to the people who yes, are the this real is world true. investors investing in their company. They have not done their job. They have not done the job of bringing in new players. They have not done the job of bringing in new blood and new money. Let me explain to you really quick about this one thing that he has said that Mindark has failed to do, and that's bring in new players and bring in new money. Here's the biggest problem with that. I just recently watched a video that pissed me off from two months ago about a new player that came into the game just to see if he could make money in Entropia Universe. And let me just go ahead and, and, and tell you right now, this dude got so pissed off when he ran out of money, and then somebody, one of our, our, our famous players, I think there actually was in the chat at some point, or something, like tried to mentor him, and then some other guy took him to the sweat circle, and be like, but this guy had no intentions of putting a single dollar into this game, and then called it stupid, and all this other stuff. And uh, like just some huge big casino, which look, I understand if you treat this game like it is an online casino or a casino in general, I hope you lose your ass on it. Let me repeat myself. If you treat this game like a casino, I hope you lose your ass. And I hope by some way, shape, fashion, or form, I get your money somehow. So if you're going to treat this game like a casino, go do it at one of the places that generate me some income. Just just, just do that. Like, break out, break out this thing. Go, go buy... Go buy a Swine Deluxe and go to town at, on New Treasure Island... Treat the game like a casino, and then let me get paid off all the decay that this thing produces. All right? Look, I only break this thing out whenever I I just want to just have a, a few minutes just going ham. All right? That's it. But, but listen. 
when the owner, uh, the owner of Minark basically said, you know, this game isn't a casino. It's a real cash economy. And even it, even in a real life economy, you know, you you can stand to fail. You can stand to lose your money. Uh, the same thing goes here. Um, this is a very skill based game. Okay. And uh, one of the skills that you have to have in order to be successful is to know your limits. This is why I advocate for people to take a break every once in a while from the game. That it's it's is very true. Um or don't fight things that you have no business fighting. Don't try to up your level with some some inefficient weapon and, in order to hunt mobs that you have no business fighting and then cry about it afterwards. Okay? That also being said, there there are other ways to play this game, like the accumulation of wealth in the form of items in this game. I have a collection of CDF vehicles. I have a collection of chips. I have a collection of weapons, all unlimited. Just 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 to bring up my my total net worth in the game. And not only that, is I'll take some of some of what I have from after a hunt and I'll put it into the deeds and shares and I won't touch it. Okay? There are ways to play this game that minimizes your losses. It's true. It minimizes your losses. But a lot of new players aren't going to know all this. They're not. They're, they they don't understand or they don't know yet that you you can you can do it, but you have to have money in order to play this game. Sometimes. That being said, you l listen. The days of serial overdrive are over, bro. There's no way you can sit there at a sweat circle and amass like twenty clips of land deeds. Okay, those days are over. However, you could still probably do it. But on a, lo a much smaller scale than what it used to be, a lot of the opportunities in the game they are lacking. But the shares are one way to get up above that, in my opinion. These, are, they, I mean, this is all my opinions. But but you get, you got to get the get your mind right, right, right. Let let let's go on back into CVB. So, this is a pathetic attempt at a cash grab to try and show the investors, well, there's high demand for virtual real estate. If that was true, oh you would not be selling this place off piecemeal as a share, calling it a business. You would be auctioning it off to the highest bidder and selling it all as one land area. Really? So, so you're advocating to take away the opportunity of all the players so one player can just buy a land area? There are land areas out there already. Okay. And honestly, a land area like this, I would I would be willing to, to bet if it was placed on the open market, some of these high 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 entropy investors would be willing to drop down and start bidding like crazy. And this place would be worth way more if not on an equal footing of what it's going to sell in shares. I'm almost willing to bet. Almost. I don't have enough information. So I can't make the most educated guess. But I could almost be willing to bet that it would be probably true. But like like he said before. You know, Mindark decided to, to do share system because it's a little bit easier to, to handle when it comes down to uh, uh, giving somebody like uh, the vetting process of uh, this that and the other thing right like like they don't have they don't have to vet like a single person owning like this new land area that's coming out instead it's going to be a share system where everyone can own a little piece of it which I absolutely love 
and I'm I'm in full support. This is absolutely appalling on every level. I am absolutely ashamed uh, of Mind Dark right now. Yeah, okay. And this is very worrisome because I'm not totally just tickled pink. This is my passion. About this Mind Dark doing I've this. I absolutely love. I love I it. I could be doing anything with my time. But I spend hours a day in this game. Hours a day playing this game, progressing through this game, having fun with this game. And to see Mind Dark do this. To is see Mind Dark do this is absolutely amazing, and I'm 100% supportive of, of it. Go to jail for security fraud or violating security How? laws and regulations. No. How? I, this sorry, is a good knows thing. Kind of love-hate relationship. They're not a fan of mine. I'm not a fan of theirs. I think that the people at Mind Dark are greedy and completely and utterly incompetent. They have the best game. For giving on the everyone planet, an opportunity to buy some and shares. They have no idea how to run it. They have no idea how to advertise. These are some of the no best things that they have. Players. Oh yeah, about the new players and stuff. Listen. That, that, that dude, he, he just quit. He just quit. Because he didn't want to put any money in the game. He, he, he didn't, and he didn't want to sweat, which I completely understand. <laughs> sweat, this is a fruit walking, play for free. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I'm not down for that. I don't want to do that. Uh, that's why I put money in the game. But, uh, sure. Uh, new player coming into the game, looking to make some money. They run out of ammo. They're gone. They are... Every single time they run out of ammo and someone takes it to a sweat circle, they're gone. They're, they're gone. Every single player that I come across, one of the first things, especially if I'm their mentor, I'm like, listen, you, you should buy a starter pack. You don't have to throw a shit ton of money into this game. You can just a little bit at a time. Just, just to take the edge off to play a little bit and enjoy yourself. Because this is a game. You, you use it to enjoy yourself. And those players end up sticking around. Okay? But uh, when uh, a mentor comes up to them and are just only after the... the Whatever it's called. The, 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 the mentor rewards and stuff like that. And they do nothing to help the player out. They they do nothing to uh, encourage them to make a make their first deposit. You know, but I'm not trying I'm not trying to sell herbal life to you, okay? But uh, the, the game is more enjoyable when you have a little bit of money into and when you add a little bit of money into it. I'm just, just saying it just makes it a little bit a little bit more enjoyable. It's the people that take it way too far. They, they dump all this money expecting to. Expecting the world on a platter to get handed right back to him like thank you for all your money Here's some more money back. This is more money that you gave us now. This is not ever going to work like that never Unless you're lucky. I mean, I'm just saying unless you're lucky. I mean some people do get some really nice all-time highs and globals and stuff like that it happens but uh, They're not giving it away to every new player that comes in that haven't even deposited a thing or are low on ammo. Next thing you know, they, 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 they pop huge globals and it keeps them playing for the rest of their life. Nah, bro. Look, it's a game. You have fun with it, right? You. Uh, I might have to do another video all on that one guy that made a video about this, but uh, I, have it, I have it on the back burner. If you want to see that video, look on my Twitter feed. It should be uh, one of the Entropia videos. It's from the, at least the last week. They don't need to do crappy things like this in order to make money. All they have to do is run the game correctly. Run the company correctly. They haven't. They could create new content. They haven't. What new content have you added to Naval Station Triton that makes it worth money? None. Zero. What do you mean? Is the... Sand King suddenly going to start spawning all the time and have some reason everybody would want to go hunt it non-stop and camp it? Does it have some new cool mission chain and a lot of really cool high markup, high demand loot? There is a mission is, chain is for it. about Naval Station Triton or Jameson's Reach that suddenly makes me want to go camp there 24 hours a day? There is literally no. a mission for have all of this. Any new content? Right no. here. So this is a blatant cash grab and everything about it smells too high heaven. This right here is a part of that mission so guys, chain right here. I know this video has gone longer than expected and I I'm sorry, but th this is important. This is a big deal because this cannot continue. This? They cannot keep oh, listing shit. worthless area after worthless area on the Entropia Exchange 
and expect the Entropy Exchange to survive, much less thrive. It won't. I think most people watching this video are aware of what a massive problem this is, of how bad this really is for not just the players that invest in this unwittingly not knowing what they're doing, but for the game. Not just for Mindark or the people stupid enough to do this, but for those of us who love this game and want to see this game thrive. This is a stupid move all around. No, There's it no is good not. There's no reason to be doing this. It is this not. This is a horrible, horrible idea. It is just not. And any player who buys a single share this is of this one of the best things share product I've heard in a while is going to lose money. I I love the new shares. Go up in value. I will go further. These shares won't even sell out. At least the Crystal Palace shares sold out. Even if the Crystal Palace shares had gone down in value, at least then what, we could wait. say at least there was enough demand that the shares sold out, and now we trade them player to player. What about what? What about New if Treasure Island? They the sold out in right two now. hours. New Treasure Island sold out in two hours. Oh wait a minute! Ancient Greece shares, two hundred fifteen thousand. Wait a minute! I got I got to switch over. He, he he's showing his his shares right here. He has 1,528 Crystal Palace Space Station shares. No other shares. So this guy is advocating without even knowing what, what the other shares are because he, he doesn't actually look at them. He, he doesn't have any notice of them. He doesn't have any Crystal or Calypso Landy Trust shares. So he doesn't know how, how often they pay out unless he does watch the... Uh, Season shares payout show weekly for Entropy Universe on Mondays. Um, it, it, it's it, what, what, what even is this? Ancient Greece shares, two hundred fifteen thousand shares available out of four hundred thousand total shares. You know why there's so many shares available for sale right now? Because the vast majority never sold in the first place. Yep. We can forget about the Calypso Land Deed Trust and Crystal Palace shares because the Crystal Palace shares did sell out. The Calypso Land Deed Trust, those shares were all converted from old deeds. But look at New Treasure, Treasure Island shares. 14,034 shares currently available. Yeah. Price per share, 7.97 ped. Remember, these were originally 10 ped per share. Yeah. So somebody's willing to lose 2 ped per share, 20% of their investment, just to get out from under them. For really? As I've said before, this is an opportunity for newer players to get it for cheap. They, they're, they're not going to, whenever people like Stevie B is sitting there crying all the time about all this stuff, and, and calling these things scams, all of all, all of his people are not going to buy these shares because uh, they're going to listen to every word he says. And I know there's a few of you out here that do. They're, you're going to listen to every word he says, and it's, you're going to be missing out on a big, huge opportunity, especially if these things go the other way again. Just saying, just saying. For the New Treasure Island shares, what about Ancient Greece? What about nine point six ped per share? Notice there's two hundred fifteen thousand shares. Still available at 10 pet each. That means that the Next Island Development Team still has 215,000 shares that they've never sold from the original IPO. That they're actually still getting More than paid half for, though. Of the ancient Greek shares them. never sold. And people are still willing to sell the shares that they did buy at a loss just to get out from under them. Now, it might be a 4 or 5% loss compared to the 20% on New Treasure Island shares. But still, that is that is not good. Why is Mindark even messing with this Triton Industries thing when the first thing it should be doing is looking at New Treasure Island? In ancient Greece shares and saying, whoa, we need to do something about this. This is not good. Before any other shares are listed, we need to figure out a way to help fix this. We need to... The, what I don't understand is how, how how much more can you do for, for New Treasure Island? Honestly, because it, it pays out constantly. I don't know where the price is falling. It pays out. It's doing what it's supposed to do. But uh, apparently it needs help in paying out. Because people already hold it. And the price is going down. Probably because people are looking for liquidity. They have every right to do that. And it's not my fault if they're going to sell at a loss. That just means somebody can buy, buy not at a loss, but like buy at a discount. But uh, I, guess, I guess he's not seeing it that way. It, it's just uh, you're losing. I don't think I'm losing. I think that every single time I buy more, it's a discount. To do something about New Treasure Island, to add new content, new reasons for people to come generate revenue here, to make these shares more valuable. They should be going to the next island development team saying, hey, uh, you still have. Let's make it more valuable. Now, that's if they really did something like that, that, that would that wouldn't it, wouldn't that be illegal? <laughs> it's called market manipulation. No, it, it's completely the players. They're doing it to the market.
It is a natural market maneuver. When people sell for lower, that's their prerogative. Just buy it at, at, at the discount that it is. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, ha have, having uh, MindArt come in to, to fix to fix a problem that doesn't exist, I, I, I have a hard time understanding any of that. Um, as far as ancient Greece goes, um, I, I don't know. It, that number has been dwindling down uh, constantly over time. It's, it's not that much because uh, people do want to sell some of it because, I mean, it is it is an open market. So people do sell uh, ancient Greece. And uh, you can't really stop that from happening. But uh, I don't know. They have been improving uh, ancient Greece over time. There's a lot of new things on ancient Greece. But uh, uh, apparently it's just still not that popular. But here's the thing. Ancient Greece is on uh, Next Island. Next Island is not Calypso. This right here, this place right here is on Calypso. It's gonna be. It's gonna at least pay out. I don't know about the price. How 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 people are gonna react to the price whenever it's all bought up? If it all gets bought up, I don't know. I can't tell the future. Maybe, maybe, maybe Stevie B's right. I mean, sold over you know half what? the shares from know. the original Ancient Greece offering. We need to do something. You guys are doing a great job at creating new content and reasons for people to come to Next Island and Ancient Greece. We need to keep developing Ancient Greece, and we need to get it to a point where these shares do have value and they do end up selling out. It's been over two years. At this point, there's no excuse not to. But instead. They're doing yet another share for another non-existent company. This company did not exist. I never even heard of Triton Industries prior to this because they just tacked the word industries onto the end. Guys, this is oh unacceptable. Oh my God. They're just coming up with a name for the share. So well, there's a couple of things. Number one, share to Make it sound make interesting. Sure you know and the game understands make it, not to buy. And, and make it like, like uh, interesting story uh, of how like this became Triton Industries. Who knows? They might actually put a quest here. An extra quest. Who knows? I don't know. I know that the Rexatiliums are actually on the on on the dailies list. So do 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 it to shares. It. Do not reward MindArk for bad behavior. Do not make sure that the Mind oldest Arc player to the bad. newest player understands. Do not buy a single share of these Triton Industries crap shares. You will lose money. But more importantly, doing so would be rewarding MindArk for bad behavior. We cannot allow that to happen if we want MindArk to stop doing stupid things like this. My dark has to Don't tell me what to do, old man. I do what I want to do, and I am going to buy some of these shares. Now, you guys don't like. Listen, if you guys don't, that's fine too, because I I would just just keep buying them. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people that are just sitting here laughing at this dude and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy them." And who knows? <laughs> people might just get so pissed off that they're just gonna. <laughs> buy every last one of them every single time they come open on the on on the market i don't know but this is hilarious to learn Listen. this is not okay the only way to do that is to this hit is them in the not pocketbook. okay so Could if these shares don't sell don't give them money really stupid for no reason however if these shares do sell to people who just don't understand they're gonna lose money on it for some reason oh, Jesus, then mind dark's being Christ. rewarded for looking stupid we need to make sure these shares do not sell we so need number to one, sure tell everybody that not... you know not to buy these shares and why share the link to this video if you have to number two if you agree with me that this is a bad idea, if you agree with me that MindArk should not be doing this, if you agree with me that it makes no sense, <laughs> industries onto it. if you agree with me that we have no... If you agree with me, I want you to share this video out. If you agree with me that this might actually be a good opportunity and the fact that they're coming out with more shares is an actual opportunity for everyone else to get a little bit more involved into Entropia Universe in their own little way, uh, share the video. Hell, send it to Stevie B. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love it. Because <laughs> I've insulted him multiple times. Sorry, Stevie B. Bro, listen. On, on, on some real stuff. Like, seriously, listen. You have a bad take on this. And you had a bad take on it last time. I just don't agree. You know, I, th I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Well, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you get it all out. No idea how that revenue is going to be generated because this is a non-taxed area. If you agree with me that it sounds really stupid because this isn't even I don't a agree. land area, it's just a part of the game. Hit the like button on the video. I don't like what's going on just as much as you guys don't. However, what I'm asking you guys is please understand, if you agree with me 
that this is not okay and mm. should not be happening and nobody should buy these shares, that's why I want you to hit the like button because you're agreeing with me. Doing so will help to get this video more exposure. If you agree with me, make sure you hit the like button. If you agree with me, the like button on this video. You can hit the like button on his video, but uh, I want you to hit the like button on this video. Like the one, the, like right now, like for realsies, like no, no lie. Like if you're on Twitch watching right now, I want you to go over to YouTube, like the video. If you agree with me, if you agree with him, go, go like his video. Uh, it, I, I will be linking his video in the description after the fact, uh, once the, once the live streams over. That means more people will find out about it and hopefully more people will be saved from accidentally buying something that they think has value when it doesn't. Number three, share the link to this video. Put it on your Facebook page. S share it around to your society. Put it on your Facebook groups. Oh, geez. Make sure we get this in front of as many people as possible so yeah. that unsuspecting players share it on Twitter, bro. This Triton industry Sh track. Share my video on Twitter, they guys. They will lose money on every single share they purchase. And number four, Send in How a support know? case, letting MindArk know this is not okay. <sighs> I'm going to send in a support case later today to kick this off. Send, I want to cool send, down and hey, word it and make it short and sweet. If you agree with me, send a, 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 a ticket over to... Uh, oh, oh, crap, it's you. S send a message over uh, over to... Uh, yeah, yeah, send them a ticket. Hold on, live streaming. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I want MindArk to know this is not acceptable. In fact, it's pretty much blatantly illegal. Yeah. Send, send them a message okay. and say that Lord, I agree with Lore Spade and you're doing a great job with the shares, guys. I want more shares. T you tell them that. I want more shares. I, I want Fort Victoria shares by the end of the year. I want Fort Victoria shares by the end of the year. I, I, that's what I want you to tell them. Get Fort Victoria shares. Because that would be dope. And then we'll have another share next December. Fort Victoria Industries or whatever the hell they want to call it. I, listen, I don't know what they, they're going to call it, but that's what I want. And we'll do it at next December. Regardless of whether or not these things are, are sold out or not. Here, here we go. TVB. The best game in the world. All you have to do is create new content. New all you content. have to do is advertise. All you have to do is draw in new players. These things are all very easy to do. There is no reason for you to be doing such a blatant cash grab blatant. to try and pull the fleece over on your investors. Oh, man. There it's is no not reason true. to be trying to just simply cash grab at your loyal customer base, knowing they will lose money. Just because you want to cook the books to make it look like you've got growth you don't have. Because you're too lazy to do the job the right way. So send in a support case. Make it short. Make That's it so sweet, ridiculous. Be polite and say, That's so ridiculous. Listen, 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 listen. They, they, Mind Arc is sitting there. They're making these shares, right? And it gives us the opportunity to have new investment into the game, new more diversity in the share system. And you guys all know about diversity. When you have more diversity, whenever something doesn't pay out, something else probably will. And that's that's important in the long scheme of things. So, yeah, it yeah, it's going to take a little bit of money to invest in the shares. I'm not, I'm really not expecting the shares to go too crazy, but that's because I don't have the money. Honestly, I don't have the the money to to go hard like I did the last four times, or last three times with the shares. I, I don't, but I don't know how it's going to go. But. uh I know that I'm really interested in this. I want it to happen. Don't let some dude on the internet tell you that something's a bad idea. What's really important, or you know, don't don't even let me sway you too much about it being a good idea. It's very important to have some healthy caution. I I, I I'll I'll give you that. You know, either good or bad. But uh, I think that this is going to be a good investment. Because it's an investment. It's good. That, that that's it. It might go down. It might go up. It will. It, I hope it will have some volatility to it. 
I really do. I hope it goes down and I hope it goes back up after some time. It m might be like a year of it going down to eight, just like uh, New Treasure Island. But what if it goes back up to like 10 or past 10? I don't know, but extra investment opportunities in this game is going to be pretty great. And the fact that they're actually working on stuff like this is good. And the fact that new newer players don't know too much about it. If you used to sit there and tell a new player, oh, you should probably buy some shares. Like, I don't know what that is. Then they're they're missing out because people don't support the whole system, and it just it it, it takes away opportunity from from people. It, it really does. But anyways, need to do the job the right way. So send in a support case. Make it short. Make it sweet. Be polite, and say this is not okay. Please stop listing non-existent companies on the intro non-existent companies please They're... stop creating shares for things that don't exist oh my god where there's no path to uh... revenue where there's no path to income where players will lose money and it will leave a bad taste in everybody's mouth and give both mind the company and entropy of the game a bad name oh this my is an god. amazing game full of amazing people oh my this god this game should never have a bad name oh or leave my a bad taste god in so very politely very kindly, oh very respectfully, submit a support case and let Mindart know this is not acceptable. It's completely I acceptable. I completely support so Mindart in this decision. I know this I video think it's is amazing. much longer than my usual videos. Oh. However, this is very important. This is completely, utterly unacceptable in every way. Oh, God. I seriously hope Mindart reconsiders doing this. And these God, I hope, do I hope they, they, they follow through. This could be devastating in so many ways. So please, help me get the word out. Please, if people uh, do not understand the difference between Crystal Palace and established business with 10 years of profitable see? history, see? and this, please help explain it to them. It is the equivalent of walking out in your front yard, listen, saying that now your front yard has the word industries attached to it and is somehow a business, listen pulling to me, out guys. your wallet and throwing your credit card down on top of your grass. It is exactly the same. He is for, so risk case, averse the card back up that and everything gone, that he will he, lose money. He should, will not sell out. It's, it's a they scam. Go it's down just a scam. Price, which hasn't even been listed yet. It doesn't matter. These shares could be a peck apiece. They could be one one hundred. All right, you're done. We're done. We're done with you, Stevie B. We're done. All right. Anyways, this is Triton. Global's pop here. It's level 22, but uh, it, the, the stuff here, I mean, uh, a little noob starting out in the game, probably not going to be able to come here. Um, but uh, with the right amount of armor and enough hit points and a decent gun, you can definitely kill these things. But uh, I can kill these things. And uh, I know a few people that can, I know a lot of people that can probably kill these things. So there will be some revenue generated here. I know for a fact. Um, there's a, there's a, there's actually a quest here. These aren't the only things here. And I think we should probably go take, check out some of these things. Let's see, what, what should I use? I got, I got a vehicle. We, we got a vehicle. We're going to fly. Now, where are these mobs here? Look at look at these. They're here. Yeah. But I don't know. Stevie B say say don't buy it. I say, you know, buy it your your own uh what do you call it? Uh own pleasure. Don't go too crazy. Like, don't put your whole life savings in. Well, you can if you want to. Uh, I wouldn't. But uh, in order to help you play the game a little bit more fully and enjoy the game a little bit more, having a weekly paycheck uh, based off of your shares and stuff like that, you know, get what's comfortable for you. Now, look at these. These, these are also here. These are also a mob that, that actually lives here. <laughs> Later, do it a live stream. Sorry, my bad. Oh, right, what we got here? These Aetherix prowlers. They they make funny noises, but these things are also here. 
There's a good chance that the uh, lower lower mid uh, can probably do this. It, it is quite possible. These things are, make funny noises. They hit really hard. So this isn't good. Oh, hey Stella. You have to you have to wait. To, to, I'm still exploring Triton Island. We just we just finished doing uh. We just fish do it a thing. Alright. Yeah, these things hit kinda hard. Maybe I don't have the, the, the right uh the right armor. Yeah, these things hit these things hit like a Mack truck. Wow. Bet I bet you could like Wow, seventy two points of damage. What are they hitting me with? Don't mind you, you just lurking hell yeah. I'm about I'm about to never die this. What am I doing? Stop moving! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! All right, heal, and uh, we're, we're getting we're getting out of here. We're get we're, I'm I'm leaving. Stop attacking me! Just leave me alone! Stop following me! All right, there we go. But yeah, th those things are here. These things suck. What what else is here? Like right over here, I think is uh, where the uh, alophils are. There, there might be a chance you can probably take out some alophils if, if anything. But then you get the sand king that spawns in the middle of this. It's a nice little place. All right, this should be it, right? Let's land it. Yep, sure enough. Show sure enough. These are the things that are here. Level nineteen alophils. Yeah, this is good. So you will be able to get some alophils here if you want to fill up your codex. I'm telling you, this is this is gonna be good. Look, you can, remember when it comes down to filling up your codex and stuff like that, you have repeat missions. If, if need be. Yeah. The, I think these things drop a, a little, little something nice too. I don't know what to tell you other other than I think Stevie B is absolutely freaking wrong on this. Again. Stevie B, you're wrong on this. Again. Stop telling people what to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can. I don't know. It, it is your YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I did a reaction video to breaking news. Beware of Triton shares. Minarch shameful cash grab will cost you, which I do not believe at all. The Diggler says Stevie might be right short term, but in the long, he is so wrong. It depends. Stevie does still, Stevie B does got some good content though. I, 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 all jokes aside, like uh, he, 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 he does love Entropia, and I do too. I just don't always agree with him, but uh, all in all, like it is what it is. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, um, even if they're wrong. <laughs> Including me. I, I really hope. I really hope that Stevie B is not right on this one. I don't think he will be though. I really don't. Um, but uh, I said my piece um, in two hours. So I definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a two hour long video. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going uh, to take off. And, uh, I don't know. Sorry for the lack of content. Uh, just, well, I'm not really that sorry. I'm actually hanging out, chilling. But, uh, have fun, everybody. Like, share, and, uh, subscribe. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> I'm so buying a ton of these shares though. I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm gonna buy a lot. A.
lot. All right, let's count down 